Hello, everybody. Let's continue talking a little bit about what to expect when you are being prepared by God for the ministry. Because I don't want you to be shocked when you say yes to live out the calling that God has put over your life. There's a price to pay uh, and it's a preparation before you enter into the full-time ministry. There is a preparation from heaven. So I want you to know what you are up against when you are preparing for ministry so you don't lose hope, so you don't get sad and depressed and thinking that you are in battles and you're never going to end up in the ministry. Because there, God will use struggles and lonely seasons and stuff that come against your life to equip you for your ministry. Listen to this word because, you know, when, when you say yes to Jesus, he will come into your life and disrupt you. Yes, we always think about Jesus as the peacemaker, and he is, and love and kindness and good and balance and har harmony, and he's all that, people. But listen what he says. Don't think, this is from Luke 12, don't think for a moment that I came to grant peace and harmony to everyone. No for, a, no, for my coming will change everything and create hostility among you. From now on, even family members will be divided over me and will choose sides against one another. Fathers will be split off against sons and sons against fathers. Mothers will be against daughters and daughters against mothers. Mother-in-law will be against brides and brides against mother-in-law. All because of me, says Jesus in the New Testament. What does that mean when Jesus is so full of peace? How can he say those things? I will explain it to you. You see, when you lay down your life for Christ, there is a process that takes place on every side of your life. It's like the fire of God is coming into all your areas to burn away your flesh, to develop the fruits, to challenge you, to see how you react if you're in the flesh or in the spirit. I'll tell you something about my preparation. For some years ago, when I was preparing for the ministry, I felt led to pray more. I started to fast and pray, and I did it several times in a short period of time. And when I entered into that inner room in the, to get the anointing, because I get so hungry, to get the anointing. So I was willing to do about everything to get that anointing. I was like Jacob in the Bible. I said to God, I'm not leaving my apartment until you bless me. I will lay on this floor until I feel the power of God coming over my life. And God loves that kind of devotion. But then you are being stretched, impatient, and you have to be put aside, maybe be a little isolated for seasons to get that equipment of the anointing. Because you see people, they are working in the anointing and they pay the price for it. It's something about, you know, we have gifts that are by grace and they are there basically all the time. It's not nothing you have to pay to get those gifts. They are there by grace. But the other anointing that it's your equipment, your 
the heavy mantle that is over your calling, you have to go through a process to get. And it can take years of preparation. And you will feel that you suffer from time to time because it hurts to burn the flesh. It's not a pleasant, pleasant thing. And what happened to me was that when the fire of God start to come into your personal life, unusual things start to happen. Such as this, this text here where he says that he will bring strife against a mother-in-law and a bride and a mother and a daughter and a son and a father. Because when you choose the narrow path, there is a price to pay where you, there will be a division between those people who are not exactly for what you are doing and the way you are choosing for God. And sometimes that happens is in our family. So don't get shocked if your family, some of your family members are not for you and they try to struggle against your life and make a struggle and fight you and start to talk bad about you and they don't want to be with you. Stuff like that, unusual things can happen. They maybe avoid you, reject you, and you feel that you are not on the same side. And you actually are not because you have choose, chosen that narrow path with Christ. And you have to pay the price of, you know, there have to be a, a division sometimes between the people you have in your inner circle, even your family. There will be a division. There is a price to pay for, for running with the gospel, for carrying that heavy mantle. I'm not going to scare you, but I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth now. So, uh, some of my family members, they, when I was like living very strong and I prayed more, fasted more, interceded more, pushed into the spirit more and more and more to get that anointing. There was some other reaction in close family. They didn't know what I was doing, but they started to dislike being with me, some of them. And some of my one close friend, she just disappeared. And that hurts. But I know that I have to follow God's voice and it's scriptures because Jesus says that he will <laughs> disrupt our lives when he come in completely. When you say yes to Jesus completely and you mean it with the whole heart, stuff start to happen around you. And then also it's a cleansing for you personally. That it goes so deep, it goes through your way of thinking, your way of acting. What do you have in your bookshelf? What kind of books do you have? When I was praying like that, I was awake in the middle of the night. The Holy Spirit waked me up and showed me books that was in my bookshelf that I shouldn't have had there. And there were books that was given to me from people that was in an alternative way of thinking. I never read those books, but I had them there because they were gifts. But I woke up in the middle of the night and God said, get rid of those books. Throw them into the garbage. Throw every movie that is, um, has a theme of violence and darkness over it. Music that is like, it, it, it's not good. It's something that we have, you know, the closer you come to the anointing, the closer you come to God and the fire, you want the power, but you also will be cleansed because the closer you get to the anointing and the light will shine on every areas of your life. I talked the other day about the, the, the light, that we are the light of the world, but actually... 
when the light comes to dark places in our lives, it's unpleasant. Because if you do stump, something in the darkness, you don't like, like the light coming on that area. You want to avoid the light. And it's the same thing with people that are living in darkness. When you bring that light, some of them feel something exciting about you. Other people can feel that they want to avoid you because the light becomes so strong over you. So they can stand the light that you, is over your life because it's unpleasant. So that's why the closer you get to the anointing and to Jesus, there will be a division between you and the people that are not living the way you are living and not laying maybe everything down like you are doing with, with, your, with your life. So don't be shocked when all these things happen and maybe they don't understand it themselves. But know this, that when unusual stuff happen, unrighteous things happen, stay in the Spirit. Trust the Holy Spirit in your process. Don't go out in the flesh and start to argue and defend yourself. And don't for a minute hold on to people that are running away from you. Don't do it. Let them walk. If they want to walk out of your life, let them walk. Maybe they come back again or maybe not. But this is the price you have to pay for walking up the hill like the, the hen's feet on high places. If you want to walk up those hills with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus, you have to pay a price of of unrighteous behavior from people close to you, suddenly people in your family talking bad about you, you haven't done anything. And people avoiding you that used to love you. And, and, and then God start to show you areas of your life that you need to cleanse, that you need to lay down for Christ. So there is a price, people. So don't expect when you are preparing for the ministry and are in the ministry that we, it will be all pleasant and peaceful and harmonic all the time because it can also be very shaky because you come in with a strong power. You come in with an anointing. You have paid the price and it will stir up something in the spirit wherever you go. Even in, in your own family, it will stir up reactions. But do like Paul said, be glad when that stuff happened to you. Know that you are on the right path. You're actually paying the price. You're actually being equipped. And when you walk through all those difficult situations, and I know it's hurtful when it comes to family, Trust God because he sees everything. He sees your unrighteousness. He sees everything and he is your righteousness. So he will give you more power, more anointing and equip you with a heavy mantle because he sees that your yes is a really yes. The Bible says that God's eyes are looking all over the world to find somebody who is right with him. But he said he didn't found anybody. And I remember when I read that word for many years ago, I started to cry. I felt so sad on behalf of God, that God, who is love, he has to like struggle to find somebody who is willing to walk the walk with him, who are willing to lay down our lives completely for the call. This is the prize, people for the calling and to get the equipment and the mantle is going to cost you some pain and some loneliness and some rejection and some unrighteous behavior from people. Just know that you are walking in a special way with God. I remember there was a friend when I came into the ministry, the first night I came home, I was so full of God's power. Uh, and I've started to work uh, uh, in a church. 
I heard the Holy Spirit said to me, now you're beginning to go up to that narrow path on top of that hill. And there will be people falling off your life. Not everyone will walk with you that you thought will be with you always. And then I saw a name of my best friend inside. And I said, God, no, not her. And the next day she did something bad to me that I understood that there was a division between me and her. So I had to pay that price right there. So don't be sad. Try not to let that. I know it's hard, but know that there's a scripture about situations like relationships that we lose. Maybe for a season, maybe for the rest of our lives. But this is part of the, 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 the price we have to pay for living that full-time ministry and getting that anointing and that mantle. Because God is very, you know, concerned that he, we are really laying down everything in our lives. That we have fruits, that we have discipline, that we have character, that we don't talk negative about ourselves and other people. That we forgive, even if, you know, it's hard to forgive sometimes. That we are living out the words of Jesus before we come out to that full-time ministry. Because you're going to be an ambassador of Christ. So you are like royalty. You're a priest for him. So you're going to be a role model. And you're going to be one who is tested and tried by the Holy Spirit. So he knows that he can trust you. He has to test us to know that he can trust us. Yes. And it, it hurts. It's tough. To, to let the flesh die, it's painful. But it's so necessary for the calling. There is no other way, people. This is the way. And you have to pay that price. So stir up your life and read the word of God, read the scriptures, read everything that Jesus said so you can get comfort and know that even if you have hard seasons, you are not alone. There are so many other people on this planet who are paying the same price as you and even more. Some people die for the, the, the sake of the call. So... Let your yes be a really, really big yes. And don't pull back when struggles and stuff like this happen in your family. Don't pull back. Know that there is a scripture for this. I want to encourage you. Just keep on going. You will be so mighty used by God. He will anoint every areas of your life. And you will change atmosphere, you will heal the sick, you will raise the dead. You will create miracles through your life, through your paying the price. It's worth it, people. It costs everything, okay? The yes, the total yes costs everything, but it's worth the price. You will see later everything you went through that is going to hurt you now. It's going to be worth it. You're going to be used in a mighty, mighty way. Keep on going. Don't give up. I will be praying for you to not give up. Okay? God bless you, my sisters and my brothers. Goodbye.